In today's video, I want to talk a little bit about making Excel graphs and charts accessible. So let's suppose we go to Excel, and I'm just going to generate some random data here. So let's suppose I have A and B, and I'll just do some percentages here. I'll just do five of them. And let's suppose I have data for A is 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, and for B, it's one, two, three, four, five. Let's suppose I want to make a line chart of this data. So I insert, you got a recommended charts, and I see something kind of like what I like here. I click OK. Let me zoom back out. And you know, normally this would be OK, but need to be careful to make sure that the colors are differential enough and or the lines are differential enough to where people can tell the difference between A and B. So how could we do that? Click on a line and then go to chart design. Change the colors and make it mon uh, monochromatic. So what I typically like to do is make things gray or dark to light and then pick one of the lines, right click on it, and change the outline and do some sort of dashes, or you can even do like a sketched or something different. So I'll just do dashes to where you can clearly distinguish between the solid black line that's A and the dashed gray line that's B. Let's suppose we were doing, um, we wanted to do instead a bar chart. So let's, I'm gonna highlight the data again and insert recommended chart and just do this first one here. So similar issue, um, how could we re resolve this? So what I will do is click on uh, change colors with the chart design tab. Once again, make it monochromatic. Uh, maybe uh, do uh, like gold or something this time. And then something else that you could do, right clicking on it, you can um, change the fill. So like for one of them, like maybe for project A, for example, I might want to change the texture to something different, uh, totally different, or, you know, uh, some sort of different design um, that might match. Like this is a woven mat. Um, and then the issue, of course, is you'd have to do that. Like if you want to call out that one in particular, you have to do that for each one of them. I um, mean, hold the control key. And for that one. Let's see, so outline. Sorry, fail. And we could do that for, uh, there we go, for all of them at that time. There we go. Okay. One last demonstration here. What about a pie chart? So let's suppose I just want a data and I want a pie chart. So I'll go to insert recommended charts. Here's a pie chart. Typically, when you make it, it already looks pretty colorful for you. But I would recommend changing the colors and making it monochromatic. Probably, like a, since there's five of them in this particular for the pie, I probably would do, and you can see here that it, it goes from very light to very dark by the end if you go counterclockwise. Um, probably do something like that or some other monochromatic uh, feature. So like if you wanted some color, um, that one here could work perhaps, but I tend to like to do the, the black and the grays and the whites in terms of your color palette. Thanks for watching. If you like, click like at the bottom or you can subscribe to keep track of videos that will be posted, uh, time, posted in a timely manner. Thanks.